Hello and welcome back to Glass Valley. Well, the overlook of Glass Valley. You'll notice that there have been some changes, some reorganizations. I have removed all of my previous talking episodes because I have finally, as of last night, figured out what was causing my uh, high-pitched buzzing static noise whenever I used my mic and since I have that fixed I decided to remove all of the crappy videos and start over so we are going to take a tour of the entire base and briefly touch on everything that has been accomplished so far. I am also using a new video editing software that will drastically decrease the time that I spend on it and allow me to only convert my videos the one time. So we used a Wrath Igniter on these uh, sand mountains to turn them all into glass. Not all of the desert has been converted, just this portion immediately near the base. And then over here we um, modified our waterfall. It used to come from that missing block right there which I still haven't replaced for some reason. We have our redwood construction here for the overlook. I will probably be using only redwood in all of my builds at least for the red mountain here. This is the basic pattern that we're going with excluding this tower and this retaining wall. Everything is going to be red then three gray and then red. Actually I should probably change that to reflect this so that it actually fits. On the other hand, I'm not going to change this, so that wall fits the tower, so maybe that's what we'll keep. I don't know. Up here at the top is where the master bedroom is going to be located. We have this wall going all the way around the base. As you can see in the mini map in the top right corner, it's all lit up and it should all be nice and safe, even though I've I'm still having some things. It's very rare, but I do have some things uh, show up. I've had a spider, a skeleton, and one creeper. Down here we have our um, machine area. We have two water generators up here primarily for our industrial grinders. We have some dedicated MFEs with backup uh, about 90,000 worth of backup. Then we have our industrial blast furnace down here with uh, 30,000 of backup if it's needed. Up here we have our magma engines being powered by our magma crucibles. We have two storage units here for their energy. We have our pulverizers, our rolling machine, over here we have two thermal generators. We have a bank of uh, 
eight MFEs here all interconnected. Back here we have more emergency backup generators running on a continuous supply of blaze rods. We just take down one of these and attach it here and it enters the entire system. So going up this direction is our tier 2 and higher power and going down into this transformer and then into uh, two bat boxes we have our uh, tier 1 power. So we have the implosion compressor, plate bending machine, two compressors and five furnaces. Over here we have a alloy furnace and a soul forge. This is used for um, making the soul gems. We have a craft packet stamper up here. That's getting ready for building our routing machine for our storage area. Um, this here is our central shaft it's going to have access to each floor so you see we have access for this floor there's one for this floor so there's going to be another floor and then we're going to cap it somehow and put access to the main or to the uh, the top floor we killed four withers not that long ago and we built a beacon and we still haven't finished it at this time still working on getting enough uh, golden blocks to get it all finished underneath here we used our first quarry and we are building our um, collection area for the mob system that's going to be built directly underneath the beacon so the mobs will all fall down and their items will go from the obsidian pipes to regular chest and there'll be a system of regular chest so that it goes pipes directly to chest and then eventually to one ender chest with none of the pipes reconnecting to the uh, obsidian pipes. Let's see, very early in this map I had some very lucky chests from some of those uh, obsidian shrines and I got myself a sword of the zephyr I've got a couple of portal guns from that I at one point was rearranging my base got exploded by a creeper and I lost most of my machines down here you can see where we're collecting our gold and there's some more there here we have the beginnings of our sorting system. After putting it together, I realized I'm going to have to change some of it, which is what I expected. Let's see. Over here we have a ender chest attached to a void pipe. This is just a way of um, getting rid of, rid of garbage. So we have over here, we have a yellow, white, yellow ender chest. This is our main ender chest for our machine or for our sorting system. And then we have a uh, three red ender chest, which I hooked up with this ender pouch. 
So the ender pouch, see I open it, you can see the ender chest open at the same time. And everything is funneled directly out. You can see it's all coming right out of there and going right into void and it's gone forever. And then I have myself a uh, yellow white yellow for easy access to the uh, the main ender chest. I put in two of these, one over there and one over here, so that while I was moving around the base I could get all the stuff I wanted over there and dump it in a chest and have an ender chest with it. Just so I wasn't constantly going back and forth through the uh, the area. So this is our current um, item farm from Mob Drops. It's currently set to Pigmen, as you can see, and the Pigmen go and they fall straight down. They die. Their stuff goes into the uh, obsidian pipe and brings it into our chest and that's how it's getting to our sorting system. Down there and next to the inner chest where this the other inner chest there is a chunk loader so those are constantly active. We currently have uh, tier 5 spawners for everything that's listed so there's a wither skeleton, a skeleton, a zombie pigman, a blaze which is over there and a zombie. So those four are all attached to that system and then the blaze farm is attached to this system here. This is our enchanting area, this is our backups for books and our um, anvils. I put in this chest so that when I'm farming experience I have somewhere to just dump all of the uh, the junk. Now this sword we got enchanted with some great stuff on it. I just I kinda wish it didn't have fire aspect because fire aspect makes it really hard to kill endermen with this sword. Because what ends up happening is I attack an enderman and he catches on fire so he teleports away and then as soon as he comes back he teleports again and it, he just constantly teleports until vast majority of the time he ends up so far away that he doesn't come back or he dies and I never find his stuff but we have all these wonderful enchantments on here um, we have ourselves a silk touch diamond drill we have an efficiency and fortune advanced chainsaw and over here we have the skulls that we have collected from using this sword with uh, I think it's the Vorpal. Vorpal has a chance to essentially one hit kill and take the head from the bad guys. And this sword is awesome because it does damage in a cone and it does this like wind effect that blows monsters away from you. <coughs> See it'll even affect them like through the blocks. <coughs> so it's pretty good. This was our starting room. It used to also have all of our chests. Uh, trying to use this sword on pigmen, I managed to cut my own head off. And every time I attack pigmen with it, it damages me. It sets me on fire. So we don't we don't attack pigmen anymore. There is our nether portal. We used one of our portal guns to give us quick and easy access to the end, right here. 
also installed a uh, another nether portal down here but it's essentially useless and this area here I am taking out all of these corners and I'm digging straight up here and I'm going to install the new experience farm here and down here we are going to use let's see I believe it's the glass covers yeah we're going to use the glass covers to make um, here and here and on this side so there'll be glass and then the inside will be empty and then we'll use a different uh, glass micro dot block excuse me different glass micro block on the bottom so that we can attack the uh, the mobs feet let's see through the nether Over and we go this direction, we follow the torches, and over there's the um, the stronghold that I farmed for my blaze spawn and my wither spawners. Now we also are using our portal guns in here to quickly create another sort of hub. So very quickly we can go from there to here and this is where we have our deep mine and in this deep mine is an abandoned mine shaft. Over in that direction is where we killed the withers and I plan on using this base to install our, um, our quarry. So, and I also use the portals to quickly get down here to the underground, which I still haven't completely explored. So yeah. That is everything that we have done so far. And like I said, I have finally figured out the things that I've been doing wrong with my recording and I'm getting my uh, stuff converted now with a better program than the one I was using and I think that with all of that said we're going to end this now so that I can get back to building more stuff. I think that what I'm going to work on is getting that dropper area finished so I can install things and I need to make a uh, control area for it so I can turn things on and off whenever I want to. Oh yeah, I forgot to explain this room here. So I think in that that direction is going to lead to a enchanting room. I'm probably going to have the whole floor as um, anvils 
this direction is probably going to be the control room for all of our mob spawners and then this direction is going to lead to the potion brewing area and uh, that's it for what we've accomplished Now I've taken down the other videos where I said this so I'm going to say it now. Uh, this channel is going to consist of two videos. They'll be basically world tours or discussions on what's going, what's going on and what's being created. And then there's going to be music videos basically where we listen to um, heavy metal music that I really like and enjoy and if you have heavy metal music that you like that you think should be added to the channel feel free to leave a comment and as long as it's stuff that I enjoy it will be left on there I'm planning my play session videos where I'm just running around building everything to be about an hour long I will do my best to never cut off a video until the current song is finished. And on the music videos, there will always be a portion of the screen dedicated to the internet radio station that we're playing on, the song that's playing, and the artist, and even shows the album that the song comes from. Alright, so that's going to be the end of it. Have a uh, good day.